this time. One second. There we go. Fairy lights on, ready to film a YouTube video. Hello everyone, it has been a while since I've sat down and had a talk with you all and uh, the reason for that is because recently I've been doing a lot more music, I've been posting a lot more regularly and that's been doing really well for me so I thought being the genius I am that I would just completely stop doing that and sit down and do a talking video and potentially lose loads of subscribers because uh, that's the kind of guy I am. So here we are, this is what we're doing today. It is a story time, it's not clickbait, okay? I feel it's important to mention that this is not clickbait in any way. This actually, genuinely, 100% legit, gone wrong, gone sexual, gone explicit, family friendly PG did happen, okay? So make sure you put your best ears on, give this a listen, because you guys are not going to believe what happened and you don't even have to click because I'm going to tell you, okay? So here we go. So just to set, <clears throat> I can see my mom's boyfriend just out there. Steve! 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 Hi Steve! I was calling you but you didn't hear me. Oh god. Uh, oh well. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just filming now. Alright. Have fun. Just to kind of set the scene for this story, uh, it happened about 10 years ago um, and I was 10. So for those of you who can do 10 plus 10, you will know that I am now old. Um, and yeah, I had just been starting out playing shows all over my town. <laughs> so nothing too serious, but like I've been playing in loads of different pubs, doing these open mic nights, you know, doing all sorts, basically just whoring myself out, trying to get my music heard. I was literally only playing covers. So not my music, but other people's music heard. I would just quickly like to apologize for the fact that, you know, obviously I live in England, so I can't really rely on sunlight for filming, but I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to, it's probably gonna come out and suddenly I will be even more pale than I already am. But for now, this is what we're dealing with. Anyway, this particular open mic night will always be more memorable to me than others. And that's for one solid reason. I'm gonna give the, the ending of the story away right now, but it's already in the title, so you already know. A woman kind of, kind of a little bit tried to kidnap me, just, just a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that now. So, to begin, I've been playing my set. You know, it was popping. People, people were applauding politely at the end of every song. You know, I had got down, um, and every now and again, like some people would be nice enough to come up and talk to me. You know. At the end of the day, although I was uh, pretty dreadful, um, and still am, um, people do, you know, they come up, they see a 10 year old performing and they're like, oh, you know, let's go say well done because, you know, he's only 10 and he needs validation or we might give up on his dreams. Um, but no, here I am still making YouTube videos. So thanks guys for the validation. It really helped. Um, so yeah, people would come up and they'd say, oh, well done. And how old are you, little chap? And I'd be like, oh, I'm 10, you know, and they'd be like, ooh wow, and you're, you're playing at pubs? And I'd be like, oh yeah, I know, I'm a big boy. I'm a big, big boy. So anyway, there, there is a spare stool next to me and this lady comes and occupies it, okay? That's fine, you know, she just wants to have a chat. So she says, hello, uh, introduce herself. I can't remember her name, obviously, was 10 years ago, can barely remember last week, bit of an issue. But she came over, she wanted to say hello, she wanted to say well done, that's nice enough, you know, that's allowed, you can come and say well done. So she says well done and, and, and I don't think anything of it. Then it kind of takes a turn because then she reaches into her handbag and she pulls out this picture, this little print, and she says, look, this is my son. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know. And me being 10, you know, you don't really think, oh, well, you know, he could be dead or, you know, something like that. You, you don't really think about being sensitive. So you're just like, oh, okay, where is he? Like, why isn't he here? You know, why, why, why is he not here? And she says, well, he was taken away from me, okay. And I, and I was like, oh, okay, so, so where does he live? And she's like, well, well he lives back in Africa, where, where this lady's from. So I'm like, oh, okay, so you don't, you don't get to see him. And she's like, no, no, no. Anyway, she starts getting really, really emotional. And I, I mean, I'm still pretty emotional now. I'm quite an emotional guy, you know, like I cried at Rise of the Planet of the Apes when the monkey got showered down because his jumper was getting wet, all right? And that was really sad, okay? His favorite jumper got wet. That made, that, I'm actually, I'm welling up just thinking about it. I actually, I actually am. Um, so yeah, you can imagine me when I was 10, you know, I would cry at anything and everything. Um, so I got really quite upset by the fact that this woman could no longer see her son because I just thought, you know, what if I could no longer see my parents? That would be horrible. So, you know, I, I got really sad. Um, anyway, 
she she said that kind of she really missed her son all kind of stuff like this so i was like right yeah okay cool you know thinking mm-hmm, yeah okay uh what do i say now you know i don't really know what to do i'm i'm 10 can't can't really help you and your son's situation I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm still thinking nothing of it. I'm just thinking, you know, this lady, she's talking to me about her son, what kind of sport he likes, what kind of food he likes. You know, normal lady, just come to an acoustic open mic night, listen to some acoustic music, talk to a 10 year old boy about her son who she can no longer see. You know, I'm 10 though. I'm not really thinking that's strange, okay? It didn't, the alarm bells, they're not, they're not ringing. I didn't even have alarm bells back then, all right? I didn't have them. Anyway, things really suddenly took a turn when she said, I wish you were my son. And I'm like, right, well, I'm not. So that's kind of an issue, you know, but kind of me being 10 year old me, I've got tears coming out of my eyes. I'm like, okay, yep, all right, like this, you know, no idea what to do. No, absolutely no idea. So this lady has, has literally just told me that she wishes I was her son, okay? Now that is odd. All right, even even 10 year old me right now who doesn't know what to say knows that is a little bit odd. But what happened next is even is even more odd, okay? Because what happened next is she says, you should come with me, okay? Now, now stranger danger, okay? That That is a no-no. I, I think, I like to think at this point, I made it fairly obvious I didn't want to come because my answer was no. No, just as blunt as it went, just, just no. So she thought, well, you know, if, if asking me asking me hasn't worked the next logical step is to grab my wrist okay so she's got hold of my wrist at this point right quite firmly as well i couldn't take my hand back i mean i'm probably not much bigger than i was when i was 10 so you get the idea right i was pretty weak so i couldn't really get away from her grip you know she's got me right around the old wrist the old wrist and she starts trying to lead me out of the pub all right at this point she's i think she's kind of clocked that the guy a meter behind me is my dad, but you know, got a credit to him because he immediately noticed that this lady was trying to take me away. Okay, I think he'd probably been keeping an eye on the conversation the whole time. And he literally came over and just like pulled me back and was like, no, 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 no. You do not kidnap my son, okay? It's not, that's not okay. That is not very nice of you, you know? So, you know, a few a few words were exchanged, like, you know, get, get off my son was probably a few of the words and uh, stop trying to steal him. And um, the lady is taken out by the pub owner, barred for life, you know, hopefully, hopefully reported to the police. She, she did just attempt a kidnapping. Um, and, and yeah, I never saw her again. So my, my, my questions that I still kind of have about this whole situation are, one, how bad was my performance that she no longer wanted me to be able to have the ability to freely perform around Kings Lynn and the surrounding area? And two, was that even her son in that picture? Or did she just print off a picture of a random guy from Google Images? All I want to add to the end of this video is that thank, uh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm thankful that I haven't been stolen. Um, and that was That's pretty great. So thanks dad for rescuing me. Thanks pub for barring her. Thanks you guys for watching this video, okay? This might just be the only true story time on YouTube, maybe. But maybe there'll be more. You know, I have a few other stories, not very many, because in 20 years I haven't really done much, but I have a few others. So let me know if you like this style of video, give it a thumbs up if you did, leave a comment below. I promise that regular scheduling of singing happy songs with my acoustic guitar shall return very shortly. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, especially right to the end, that's great. Please do subscribe if you're new around here. At the time of filming this video, I'm 16 away from 25,000 subscribers. I've been wanting to hit that for absolutely ages, so please do subscribe. Buy me a new single on iTunes, bye. Bye.